Hey guys, it's Kurt with Rock County Adventures. Welcome back for another video today. Uh, so basically for today's video, I will be uh, cutting up some of the uh, specimens that I picked up from last week's video, um, which includes agates and basalt, um, as well as some uh, other crystals. Um, but uh, uh, Manatee Rocks uh, from Michigan will be here this week. He should actually be getting here today. So we'll be going out um, and uh, doing some rock counting in Utah and here on the western side of Colorado. Um, and then later in the week, uh, this rocks from Nevada will be here. Um, and uh, we're gonna do a video on Friday um, over in the Grand Junction area. So that'll be super cool. And uh, for the next few weeks, expect some, uh, some cool collaborations and so forth. And uh, if y'all are curious what's going on with my new trim, it's a mon monkey tail. Uh, Jason with Rock Hounding Life requested that I uh, Next time I do a trim, uh, do a monkey tail. So I hope you guys get a kick out of it. I know I did uh, and am, <laughs> as well as my family and so forth. Um, it's a little weird, but whatever. I uh, just got to, uh, I guess, push the weirdness and uh, keep it weird, you know, uh, especially if you're from Austin, Texas. You, you guys understand what I'm talking about. But uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get over to the cutting video. And uh, if you're new here, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this on social media for uh, uh, future growth of the channel. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and cut, cut, cut open those rocks. Okay, so the rocks we will be looking at today is, is this agate. Again, we'll be cutting this one right down, this, right down the middle. This one right here, which is the lace agate that I found. You can see the laces running right through there. Um, so we'll just be cutting it right down the middle as well. And this one is uh, like some type of a purple pinkish uh, quartz or uh, it, may have a, it may have some feldspar mixed in with it to give it that color. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll cut that open. And then we'll be cutting this one in half. I'm sure the inside's gonna look just like the outside, but I just wanted to take a look at it and uh, just check it out. Um, and then the last one is this piece of uh, basalt, also known as galaxy stone. It looks like this right here in these pockets it looks like it's uh, calcite, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, but we're gonna just cut it directly in half that way. Or, you know what, I may cut it that way. I'm not fully sure yet. But uh, anyways, we'll be using the uh, High Tech Diamond six inch slab saw. And the blade that we will be using is the, uh, it's the thick notched um, blade. The skew number is uh, SB06. And if you guys are interested in buying any of the high-tech products, uh, there will be a link in my description um, for my affiliate link, since I'm sponsored by High Tech Diamond, uh, where you can click on and then browse their entire store and look at their uh, slab saws, their flat laps, they have uh, glass grinders, uh, dremel tools, all sorts of things, um, and they really good products. So uh, also if you use the uh, code RHA, which I'll have right here, um, it will give you 10% off on all the accessories, which excludes uh, the machines, gift cards, and extended warranties. But anyways, let's go ahead and turn this baby on and uh, start cutting them open. Gotta turn it on first or plug it in.
And whenever you guys are cutting um, or polishing, make sure you are using the proper safety gear, like a mask, uh, glasses, um, and a, a apron if you want. Helps keep clean your clothes clean. So we will be, uh, you can't, it's hard to hear because of the mask on, but we'll be cutting this one open first. And we will be cutting it right down the middle. So, so uh, because this was so thick, I had to cut, I had to rotate it on the blade and it kind of cut crooked, but uh, that's what the inside looks like. It looks, looks really beautiful. I have beautiful agate on the inside. So now we are going to move on to the next agate, which is the lace agate. So here's this agate. Okay, so here's this agate and the inside. You can see there's a nice lace detail running right through there. And here's the other side. Probably make some nice cabochons out of it. Cut some more slices out of it on another day but uh very very cool next we are going to cut up is the uh, basalt stone Okay, so here is the inside of this one. And can't really say that there's uh, too many like, agate pockets, but uh, hold on, let me uh, dry it up a little bit. Cause I can't tell what is uh, filled in to what is has water in it. So it looked like, it looks like there's a couple of, let's see if we can zoom in some more. Some more little quartz pockets right there. But as far as agate goes, like what you normally see, like, like when uh, Agate Dad up in there in Minnesota cuts open, uh, nowhere near as beautiful as those. Uh, it is kind of cool, but not as cool as Agate Dad's. Um, also, uh, Theo Kellison up in Montana, he just did a cutting video the other day and cut some of this, uh, and it was pretty, uh, pretty cool as well. Um, so uh, go if you haven't checked uh, either one of them out definitely uh, check them out They find some cool rocks and Theo has a lot of really cool lapidary videos, and I highly recommend you go check them out um, so forth so There you go So the next stone we'll be cutting up this violet uh, quartz
So this is about what I expected. There is some beautiful, like, uh, the light won't pick it up, but uh, there's some beautiful, like, little red uh, and light, light blue hues to it in there. Definitely, definitely pretty. Worth cutting it open. And the last one is this one right here, which I'm guessing is gonna be the same as what's on the outside is what's gonna be on the inside. And I still haven't been able to figure out what the red mineral is yet. So if you do know, if you're from, if you're local and from the area, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, I know that's quartz and uh, not sure what the black mineral is yet, um, but uh, let's go ahead and cut it open. Okay, so that'll do it for today. I'll, I'll be done with the cutting, um, but here is the stone. Inside is exactly what I thought it would look like. Just not as beat up, um, but uh, it is still still uh, definitely pretty though. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. At the very end, I'll take pictures and post what each one of these look like cleaned up. Um, but uh, if you enjoyed this, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, as well as uh, sharing this on social media. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't checked out High Tech Diamond yet, highly recommend their products. There's a great saw. Um, they have mul mul multiple different types of blades. Um, they also have a nice uh, flat lap system, which, let's see, here's the flat lap, um, and it works nice. Um, I love it. Uh, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting something like this for a very long time and uh, now that I have it, it's just a lot of fun. I can make so many cool polished rocks and so forth. So uh, definitely check them out. Check the, the affiliate link down in my description and use the code RHA, which is the abbreviation for Rock Counting Adventures to get 10% off on all accessories. Um, but uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Rock on, find some cool rocks and uh, look forward to next week or the, the next few weeks for the episodes of the collaboration videos. And this week we are on, on the Rockhound podcast. Well, hold on, let me do this. Okay, uh, pretty much what I was wanting to talk about was this Friday on, I think it's June 19th, I believe, if I have the, cor the, the correct date. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, the, the Rockhound podcast, which is me, Theo Kellison up in Montana, Kyle and Karen, or Kyle with uh, World of Rock Hounds, Karen with Ozone Fine Arts over in Oregon. Uh, we all are uh, on the Rock Hound podcast and we are featuring a uh, NASA research scientist about the subject rock hounding on Mars. And she talks about uh, obviously Mars, um, the, the mineralization, uh, uh, the, the moon, Pluto, um, the meteor belt, meteors, and uh, some funny stories up, uh, uh, that, that go on up there in space um, and a lot of really good information. I learned a, a ton from uh, meeting, meeting with her um, and this episode is pre-recorded so that way we were able to work it out between all of our time zones and so forth. Um, so uh, this week I highly recommend you guys check out that, pod that podcast episode. It's going to be epic. Um, but uh, anyways, I'll stop uh, rambling on. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. Rock on and find some cool rocks. I will see you guys next time. Rock on.